All right, picking up where we left off. Let's see, we need to do hide and seek. Let's see, how far away would that be? Ooh, all the way down there, huh? Well, instead, let's go back to Soul Says Transport. Press uh, T like in Tom first, click on it, and then select Transport. I'll get back to Soul in a hurry. image right in my face so we'll use the wheel on the mouse zoom out a little bit and then let's see let's go to beam starfleet academy oh dear they still haven't got this fixed Sometimes you have to click on things three or four times to get them to go away or activate in that case. All right, the reason why we're going back to Starfleet Academy rather than the next mission is we want to pick up some more dilithium. And you want to do this every day if possible. This is where we pick up the dilithium. And right now it's kind of high. It's usually about around 480. I got a special event going on. All right. What you uh, might want to do is get a calendar and mark it on these special events so that you don't forget to, uh, I guess you'd call it save some of your goodies, like your dilithium, refine it so that you're ready for a special event to take advantage. All right, who did ally with after, let's see, volume six, chapter seven. Okay, volume six. Come on. All right, there we go. It's the remits. All right. Go ahead and reduce this and select the right answer. All right, now we need to go back to the check mark, talk to her, and get our 720. I can't do this again for about, what was that, 20 hours? Yeah, about 20 hours. Or you might say once a day. All right, go back into inventory, over to assets, and refine or delete them. Oh, we already had some in there that need to be refined. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, let's see, we're only level five, so we've got a ways to go before this part here opens up, which is your duty officers. Now, when it does open up, we'd be coming over here after we do those little quizzes, and we'd be talking to this personnel officer. Now, the only thing she's going to do right now is say, glad to see you, and then you're going to say done. But after this opens up, at level 11, we're only a Five right now. She's going to offer some duty officers and other options if we have the necessary dilithium. You're going to need about 2,000 dilithium, but it has to be refined before you can use it. 
Alrighty, so yeah, this over here is not too convenient. So we'll hit the escape key. We'll go to arrange HUD. And then we'll take this low priority and we'll put it right up in there where I like it. Then we'll hit escape again. Of course you can change some of this stuff around a little bit if you wanted to. But right now it's all in pretty good spots. So I'm going to not mess with it too much. Now, you do have this option here. Now that we're level 5. It's a low level PVE cube. And what that means is there's some games you can play for rewards. But in our case, we knew we see the, what the team numbers need to be, but we also noticed there's nobody waiting in queue. Dang, cursor floating around on me. So it wouldn't really do us much good to try to join any of these. Another problem we have is we're not in a fleet yet. So we can stand around here for a while. But a better place to stand around. Let's, uh, let's see, that was the R key to get started. Now we'll hit the space key to run. Uh, excuse me, not space key, shift key. Now what we want to do is we want to get over to the position where most new Starfleet cadets start playing the game. And that's usually right around in here. All right, what we'll do is we'll just kind of hang around in here for a while and see if by chance somebody will invite us to their fleet. Uh, those must be non-playing characters or non-player characters. Yeah, that's another one, security officer. Well, we're not getting any invites, are we? Probably not very many people online. All right, so let's go hang out at another good spot to maybe catch an invite to a fleet. All right, we'll beam up. Earth space dock. Ready. just head over to where the symbol is. Alright, we're going the right direction. Now we'll hit the shift key to speed up. And we'll go over here and just kind of hang out. Now Q, of course, is offering submissions right now, special event missions. And we've already looked at that, I believe, once already. So we'll just see if by chance we get lucky. Oh, by the way, I got some stuff in inventory I need to do something with, don't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Let's see. These don't have any value. So let's go get rid of these while we're thinking about it here. See, there's some stairs right in here. Yep. All right, shift key to speed up. I like doing it this way since I get rid of the stuff that has no value pretty quick and easy. Not doing a lot of extra clicking and stuff. You're basically talking to this lady right here. All right, so requisition ships equipment. And we want to go to sell. There we go. Now, if you see a zero at this time in the game, you might as well go ahead and turn it in. You could, could use the recycle option, but it's not going to really provide a benefit. All right, the rest of this stuff has value. 
Mm, I don't know if they'll sell very well in exchange or not, but it'd be worth checking it out just in case. Spring wine, eh, I don't think it does. I know the Bajoran Moby fruit usually has a good excessive price on it. All right, so we'll sort. And we also have collected these items so far, so we can sell some of those. In the meantime, let's get back up there to the exchange. I'm using the mouse control in order to smooth this running about. Otherwise, it turns and stuff would look a little jerky. Okay, let's see what we can sell. We'll start off here. Let's see. Mm, yeah, we want to use that. Science kit. Well, he's not a science officer. And I don't think I have a science officer that can use that just yet. Uh, let's see. Now well, let's see if we can get anything for this here. It's common level and I doubt we'd use it. All right, let's see, they're selling pretty cheap, but that's better than what we've got right now, so we'll sell. Drag it over, drop it in. Now we've got to decide if we want to go higher or lower. We're gonna go a little higher, like so. Now, if you want to check your price, click on buy, look at the lowest price, and then look at your price. It'll put the comma in for you also. And that's pretty good. So it's posted. Go back to buy. Don't change anything. Go to search. And there's what we just put in there. All right, let's see. The this is also common. Let's see if we can get anything for that, maybe. Uh, about the same deal, I guess. Uh, even though we could sell it for a bit more, maybe closer to this price here. So we'll put back to sell, drag and drop. Change this to, let's see, backspace. Let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. To 89. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that would be cheaper, wouldn't it? Eh, let's go with it anyway. Probably won't sell. I'll probably end up taking it to a merchant somewhere and trying to get rid of it. All right, let's go back to buy. Put our Moby food in there. And, oh, they're going down in price, something fierce. So let's see if we can sell it at, uh, say, 940 something, maybe. All right, so, nine, four, five. Hit buy. Yeah, that don't look like a, a bad option. And we'll post it. All right, let's go back to buy. Grab and drop our egg over here. Do a search and see if they go for, oh man, these are nice priced. Okay, let's sell that for, let's say 19 something. All right, backspace this out of there and go 19999. All right, let's make sure we didn't overdo it here. Now we go back. The comma's been put in for us and we post. All right, go back to buy and we'll drag over our stew. Let's see if it's got a price. That's exaggerated. Oh man, no, they're giving these away. 
so there's no use keeping that we'll move it down here as a reminder all right we're already on buy so let's see what we can do with this mollusk search uh, well I'll put it in at 75 I guess it might get something it might not who knows all right since it's all highlighted, I just have to type 75. No need to backspace or anything. Alright, what else we got? Let's see. Uh, that's a common. Well, we probably should look and make sure that we can't use it yet. That's a Mark II Accurate. Uh, ACC, not a popular modifier for uncommon. Uh, let's see what they're going for. Probably not very much. Uh, 550. Ooh, big gap. Between 550 uncommon with ACC on the end modifier. So let's sell ours for about oh, sip. Come on. Click on it. Alright, there it goes. Drag it. All right, let's see. Let's go for, oh, say, seven, five, nine, nine. Can we get enough digits in there? Yeah, we got enough digits in there. Yeah, let's post that. All right, it's posted. We'll go back to buy. We'll do another search, and we should see it. Yep, it slipped right in there. Okay, oh hey, we need to look at this one here. The uh, spring wine. I don't remember that one doing all that well. Let's see. Oh, man, was I wrong. Look at that. So let's sell ours for maybe 29 and a bunch of nines. All right, let's see. Okay, two, nine, 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 nine. All right. Make sure we got the price close enough. Go back to sell. Looks like we got it. Post it. Go back to buy. Go back to search. And we should be the lowest one by one energy credit. All right, let's see. Anything else? I think these are locked account. Can't really sell those. Yeah, bound to character. Bound to character. Yeah, we can't do anything with those except put them in the bank. So let's go ahead and do that while we're thinking about it. Let's see. There's a bank terminal right behind us. And there's also one over there. A little closer. There we go. Alright, now we... Since we haven't bought anything with energy credits, they're not going to give us access to this, even though it would be terribly convenient. So we'll just go to the regular bank. Let's see, we're not going to need this for a long time. And we're not really going to need these for a long time. At least I don't feel the need to keep them in my primary inventory. All right, now let's go sell this item. And the closest spot would be the merchant that gets me 50% would be over here. She's as close as I could get. There's other merchants like the barkeep or down there in the shipyard, but she's closest. All right, doesn't really matter. We're going to go for sale anyway. All right, now we need to go to the bottom of the list, and there it is, point right there. And now, if you hesitate, you see the normal price is 20. She's given us half, which is pretty much the best we could do with the merchants in the game. All right, we're not going to buy anything from her, primarily because we've only got 10 EC now to work with. Let's go back to inventory, we'll do a sort. Now, while we're here, or just about anywhere else around these areas, we have the option to stop and take a look 
about like this weapon, for example. We've got a Mark I phaser sniper rifle, so that's a long distance weapon. But we could be using this Mark II. Let's see. All right, let's go. Let's click on click on this, so we can get a better reading here. All right, what we have is a phaser sniper rifle Mark One. It's a 37 phaser and a 53 DPS, which stands for damage per second. And if we switch it out, we'd have 28 plasma, and it's supposed to ignore shields once in a while. Two times 59. Ooh. I do like that 2 times 59 DPS. Now it's got a, only a 5% chance of doing 7.1 plasma damage. Well, it still strikes me as the better deal than what we've got right now. So let's go ahead and uh, switch it out. Now we have a chance to give our level 1 weapon. Let's compare these two. 28, two times, eh, that still looks better. Let's see what he's got. What has he got? He's got a, ooh, that's a nice weapon. All right, let's go back over here. All right, now she can use an improvement. She's, she's got a short range, but it does go two times 54. Uh, she's science. Well, I do like the idea, since she doesn't have any body armor, of giving her that sniper rifle so she can hang back and shoot rather than get up close to shoot. So let's go ahead and give her that weapon. Now this weapon has, well, we got to get rid of her first. This weapon has no value, no energy credit value down there in the bottom right corner. So let's go ahead and just discard it. We can't sell it to anybody, so why not? All right, now we do have a nice piece of equipment here. Who can use it? Eh, we could use it. Well, let's see. What about four? Yeah, she could use it. Let's give it to her since she's nice and purple color, which means she's very rare. And let's see. Well, oh, clicked on the wrong thing, didn't I? I need to left click on here. There we go. We'll give it to her. Now we got the same deal again. We've got an item that has no value, so we'll go ahead and discard it. All right, now we have, well, this is science. This guy's an engineer, so he can't use that. I don't think we need it, but let's double check on the starship here. All right, let's see. This is a neutronium def Deflector, positron deflector, starship control, starship shield, mm, Mark One versus a Mark Two hull. So the numbers on a Mark One are going to be lower, but it has four things. It's all about shields and the hulls and drain, control, drain, and Perception. I don't know. I kind of like the one I got. The one that's smart current. So we'll stick with that, I think. Yeah. We'll go ahead and stick with that. We can we can sell this. Now we have two choices. Is it bound? No, it's not bound. So we haven't used it yet. That means we can take it over to the exchange here and try to get more than half value. Like we would if we sold it to that merchant we were just visiting. So let's go over here to the exchange and see if we can get 
this thing sold. Okay, see, so, oh, any, any, yeah, okay, looks good. Let's go ahead and put this up there. Search. Huh. Nobody's selling one of these? Alright, let's do a little using the backspace key, get rid of that modifier, and do another search. We should get something that way. Well, I'll be darn. Look at that. No one's trying to sell one of these. All right, let's let's try to sell it. And I'm gonna say eh, 29 seems a little high. So let's make that 20. Maybe we'll get lucky and somebody will buy it. Since it's a Mark One, if it gets improved any at all. It's probably going to jump up to uh, at least rare. All right, sort this. Let's see this. Oh, it's common. Well, that doesn't matter quite so much anymore since these can be upgraded. Something they couldn't do before. Let's see if we've got any of these for sale. Ooh, they're so pretty cheap, aren't they? But that's a uh, Mark IV. Well, let's put ours in for a slightly lower price. Sell. Maybe somebody will want it. And we'll go... Eh, it didn't highlight like I wanted it to. Got a bit of lag going on here. This thing is not responding in a normal fashion. Alright, oh, that's too high, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's way too high. So I need to... <laughs> now it does the whole thing. Alright, there we go. There we go. We've got enough digits now. Okay, let's see. This is for ground, this is for ground, this is for starship. But, on this particular starship... We don't have any extra slots, do we? No, we don't. So we might as well try to sell this. So go to buy. Oh, yep, that looks good. Drag it over. Drop it. Search. And, whoa, these aren't going for very much, are they? Well, we'll go ahead and sell it since we don't really need it right now. We'll sell it at the same time. Well, we'll go 74, I guess. Alright, uh, we'll have to use a backspace. 74. That's one credit less. And we do... Let's see. We got any assets at all? Well, only 10. We're not going to be able to buy much with just 10. So, I guess we'll have to leave that off for another time. Uh, I guess we're pretty much done. Unless we decide to sell some of these. Now, if they're white lettering, that means common. So that's a pretty easy item to get. Uncommon is green lettering. Not so hard to get. Common, common. Ooh, rare. So that one's probably got a good price on it. Yeah, that one probably does too. And um, not so much. All right, let's go in back into the exchange. And let's see if we can get something for one of these. All right, search. Oh, they're only going for 950 huh? Well, let's try this one here. This one might be give us a better price. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Oh man, there's a whole bunch of 22,995s, aren't there? So we better go for a 22,994, I guess. Since we're looking for a fast sale. Alright, let's see. We don't want to sell three of them, just one. Come on, I'm clicking. Alright, there we go. And we want to go. I said 23. 
nine four to, was it? Let's go back here. Yeah, twenty three no twenty two. Okay, go back to here. See if that could love me. Yeah, there we go. Twenty two. Alright, go back. Double check. Yeah, it looks like we've got the right numbers and a comma in the right spot. So we'll try to sell that. I'll take one out of our inventory and put it in here in the, for sale. And since it's an expensive item, it won't show until we get down here. We do have one item that's a little bit more expensive, but this is all we, we've got right now because there's no option to go next page. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this time around. All right, so we'll take our character. Oh, wait a minute, there's another freebie. We'll go ahead and uh, get this while we're here, but since I'm pretending I'm doing a show and tell for the first character a person might have and make to play the game, I'm going to have to not sell this item since that would give me an unfair advantage as far as having more EC in the bank account than would normally be possible since they don't run these special events all year. Now if you want to play this game to get the highest score possible, you can't, but in my experience that's really a waste of time because you're only going to get a Omega Trace anyway. So I'll just let it run. I'll leave it in the same spot and let it go. And we got a 300 score anyway, not too bad. And we get one Omega Trace. Now that's going to show up in the inventory, but over here in R&D, right there. Now it's my habit to bring it down, way down here somewhere. The reason being is I put tech upgrades in this area and stuff that he gets or makes once he gets high enough level, which in this case would be level 15, through this system here with the duty officers that starts at level 11, will go right in this area. It's just a habit I got to a long time ago. Now at this point, I could use a sort, and all that will do is get all these things sorted out, but as you can see, it also puts this one back up in the top. And I'll just drag it back down. Eventually this will fill out and there'll be at least two rows of these research and development materials. Things that you pick up while you're out on the missions. All right, we've done that. So now let's get back out here to kind of advertise the fact that we're not in a fleet. Now, I'm not going to keep running this video because I'm sure it's starting to get some length on it already. But normally, if I wasn't making a video recording, I would just stand around out here for a while and see if somebody will give me an invite to their fleet. And then after, oh, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, I would uh, take on the next mission. Of course, I'd have to start with this to get back to the ship and then get back out into uh, sector space so I can start traveling. We'll go ahead and cut this off here and pick up here with the next one.